In this video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the equation of a hyperbola. The equation of a hyperbola consists of three variables that you should be able to determine. How you do this will depend on the information given in the sketch. Remember that the sign of the A value indicates how the hyperbola is positioned. The P value with the opposite sign gives us the equation for the vertical asymptote. And the Q value with exactly the same sign gives us the horizontal asymptote. Example, determine the equation of each of the following hyperbolas in the form y is equal to a over x plus p plus q. Just like when drawing a hyperbola, here we also start by looking at the asymptotes. In the sketch, there's one asymptote given that cuts the x-axis at minus 2, so it has the equation x is equal to minus 2, and this means that the p-value is 2. No horizontal asymptote is indicated in the sketch, which means that we can accept that it is on the x-axis, and that is the line y is equal to 0, so the q-value in the equation is 0. So in the equation, we now have the p-value as plus 2 and the q-value as 0, and now we need to determine the a-value. For this, an extra coordinate has been given on the sketch, and in this case it is the y-intercepts x and y-value. We can substitute the y-value with 1 and the x-value with 0, which means that I will have 1 is equal to a over 2, and once I've multiplied both sides by 2, a is 2. So the final equation will be y is equal to 2 over x plus 2, and the q-value is 0. In example 2, both asymptotes are now given. Firstly, we have the vertical asymptote, at x is equal to 1, which means that the p-value is minus 1. And then we have the horizontal asymptote at y is equal to minus 1, which gives us a q-value of minus 1. So in our equation, we now have y is equal to a over x minus 1 minus 1, and we need to calculate the a-value. Here we are once again given an extra coordinate, this time in the form of the x-intercept with that x and y value that can now be substituted into the equation. The y value becomes 0 and the x value changes to minus 1. And now I can take the minus 1 right at the end and add it to the left. And on the right we have a over minus 2. To now get rid of the divided by minus 2, I'll multiply both sides by minus 2, so a is equal to minus 2. This corresponds with the sketch where the hyperbola is in the second and in the fourth quadrant, which indicates a negative a value. So the final equation will be y is equal to minus 2 over x minus 1 minus 1.